Hi YouTube viewers, this is Akash and today we are going to see about the units of insulin. <clears throat> so starting with uh, the unit of insulin. So let us discuss. So what are 40 international units and 100 international unit insulin? Normally we see outside so many 10 ml bottles which are written as 40 international units and 100 international units. So when we take 40 international unit, that means 1 ml contain 40 units of insulin. And same with the 100 international unit means 1 ml contain 100 units of insulin. So when you see 10 ml bottle, so 40 international units contains 400 units. Because 400, 40 into 10 equal to 400 units. In 10 ml of 100 international units, 10th insulin contains 1000 units. So there is a difference of 600 units. So when the shopkeeper says that both are the same, never accept. There is a lot of difference between 40 international unit strength and 100 international unit strength of insulin. The composition of insulin will be the same, but the overall units are changing. So, <clears throat> when you take 40 international units, it has more volume, but less concentration. When you take 100 international unit, it has less concentration, less volume and more concentration. So, I will explain this part later. So, first of all, we will see which insulin syringes are to be used. So when you are using 40 international unit, unit syringe, so 1 ml is divided into 40 units, that is 1 fourth ml. And, uh, 100 international units is like 1 ml is divided into 100 ml, that equals like 1 tenth of ml. Okay. So for this I have given a small pictorial diagram. So when you see 40 international unit syringe, it contains the same 1 ml, so both are having 1 ml, 40 and 100 international units. Sorry, I have written it little wrong this is 100 international unit syringe so when you see the syringe quantity total quantity is the same is 1 ml okay but when you see the readings in 40 international units the 1 ml is divided into 40 units whereas in 100 international units the 1 ml is divided into 100 units that means 10 units in 40 international units is equal to 25 units in 100 units syringe so I'll just explain this in a calculation here. <clears throat> so as I said, the ml is the same, but as the units are different, the quantity and the strength is also different. So the same quantity, but units are changed because of the concentration. So 40 international units is equal to 40. So when you're using syringes, so 40 international unit uh, insulin, you have to use 40 units syringe. When you're using 100 units insulin, then you have to use 100 units syringe. So what if you take in other way, suppose you are using 40 international units insulin in a 100 unit syringe. So there you are making a blunder mistake because 10 units of 40 international units syringe is equal to 25 units. When you calculate it, as I have mentioned here, like it is 1 fourth ml and it is 1 tenth ml. So when you calculate it, it is giving like 2.5 units more. So calculated by 10 units so it is like 25 units so when you take 10 units of 40 international units that is equal to 25 units in 100 ml 100 units syringe so if you are taking in the same way like you are taking uh, 10 units in 40 international units syringe and the same 10 units in 100 international units syringe so the quantity of insulin which you are taking is very less so that might lead to hyperglycemia okay so that's why we should be cautious when using the syringes also. So when you are taking 40 international units insulin, you have to take 40 international units syringe. <clears throat> the same with 100 units uh, insulin and syringes. So one unit of 100 international strength is equal to 2.5 units of uh, 40 units uh, say, uh, strength of insulin. So in conclusion, if the doctor prescribes 40 insulin, 40 units of insulin you should take 14 uh, units of insulin if he has prescribed 100 units then you should definitely take 100 units or else this will become a total mess which i have explained in the above so even if the shopkeeper says that 40 international units and 100 international units are the same you should be cautious while taking the dosage so when you are taking 100 international units instead of 40 international units so you have to calculate the dose accordingly and when you are taking 40 international units instead of 100 international units, you have to calculate the dose accordingly and the syringes also matters. So never change the syringes and never change the units which the doctor has prescribed 
do take what the doctor has taken uh, has asked you to uh, take okay so when it comes to pen fills i'm ju i'll just uh, clarify uh, just tell in a simple way when it comes to pen fills it is very much easy because one ml of pen fill is equal to 1000 international units of uh, insulin uh, so that means like a uh, 3 ml pen fills will be getting so 3 ml is equal to 300 units so that is very easy to calculate you don't need to calculate the all stuff and all but when you are taking 10 ml bottles please be cautious that you are taking as doctor prescribed and you are using the same syringes of how many units you are using the insulin okay if if i am wrong please do mention in the comments and if you have any doubt regarding the calculations please mention me the daily doses of units how much you are taking and i'll explain you how to take it and how many units or how many ml of uh, insulin is needed for one month dose okay thank you very much